Dave? Hello, Dave. He's a bit of a superhero. Um, he's got his own cape. He is the mascot for the charity called Parkinson's UK. He's even got his own website. He's called he's got Dave the Worm. He's got his own website, DaveTheWorm.org. Um, so this charity is basically helping people with Parkinson's, and the idea is one day they'll find a cure for Parkinson's. Does that sound good? They're going to help people with Parkinson's. Brilliant. Um, so I'm going to leave Dave there, smiling at you. I think he's got a great face. So the song goes a bit like this. It goes in, it goes from the left to right. He goes, North and South America. You are major Africa. Australia. Australia. Chile one. Antarctica. How many continents? What's your name again? Lou. Could Lou cycle to Paris when she's older? Yes. Yeah, totally. Would you like to do that? You can have so much fun jumping into waterfalls and eating lots of delicious food and sitting on giant like that. Oh, wow. That's very sweet of you. Uh, what on earth started this uh, crazy adventure of cycling around the world in a superhero costume? And I'm afraid the answer is a bit like a crisis. Uh, it is partly my fault, uh, because as a teenager, when I was 15 years old, I um, cycled across the thinnest bit of England that we could find together with two friends. Uh, and that gave me a lot of confidence. If I could cycle across one country and have a lot of fun, could I cycle across two? Sure, you can do it when you're older. You just keep on eating, keep on sleeping, you'll get there eventually. And if I can cycle two countries, you can go to a whole continent. Yeah! Completely, yeah. You see, it eats more and sleep more. Um, so, when I was a teenager, that really inspired me so to go for longer, more adventurous bike rides. Um, so, I've cycled across one continent, hooray, which was Europe, a little bit, about half of Asia. Asia is a huge continent, down to your school in what country? Malaysia, yeah. So how many kilometres have I cycled so far? 30, 35,000. I've raised how much for Parkinson's charities? 70,000. And I've visited how many children so far? 60,800. There's some amazing mathematicians in the room. Good, it's all about this, number one. Be kind. Kindness is maybe the biggest superpower of them all, I think. If you change someone's food from being super tired to, wow, life is amazing. Um, and we can all do stuff like this. I'm sure you guys, do they do this already? Yeah, yeah mostly, okay. But my challenge to you is to try and do one act of kindness every day. And if 200 of you, if the whole room did this, would it make a big difference? Yeah. That was great. Would it make a big difference if you all did one act of kindness a day? It sure would. So your teachers are going to be looking out for people doing superhero acts of kindness today. Please award stars, prizes, anything you can to encourage those superhero acts of kindness. So number one was be kind. Number two was go for your dreams. If a 40-year-old teacher um, from London can turn his dreams into reality, can you turn your dreams into reality? Completely, yeah. Um, but you might have to do a lot of number three, of not giving... Have there been some challenges on my world cycle so far? There have been, but if you don't give up, you will get through them. Um, my fourth way to be a hero, so if you might be doing this already, is to ride your... How does riding a bike make you into a hero? Well, you're doing something about this. This is a scene that I see in many cities around the world. What a colossal waste of time that is to sit in traffic jams. Um, you can do something about this, you can get out on your bikes. Are you polluting if you're on your bikes? No, you're also doing something that's hopefully fun and healthy for you, so big high five from me for getting out on your bikes. And my last week, can you show me five? Thank you in the back. Is to get your, get your five a day. I think you're being a bit of a hero if you're getting your five food veg a day. Sometimes, especially if you're offered two or three ice creams from a motorcycle ice cream salesman, it's hard to get your five food veg a day. Um, but I think you're being a bit of a hero if you're doing that because there is nothing more important than your health and my mum says that so it must be true, mums are always right. <laughs>